Now I want to talk about another option that was in the dependent t-test uh, running in JASP where we could tell JASP whether we wanted it to be one or two tailed. So when I put my numbers in, you'll notice down here it says hypotheses. Now the, this is going to be how the alternative hypothesis should look. We ran our study um, originally as a two tailed, so this was an appropriate alternative hypothesis, but I wanted to show you what would happen if you were having a one tailed test. So remember, these are the alternative. Measure one is whatever you put in the first column up here. So it's after film for us. If we had proposed that we thought that the after film would be bigger than the before film and we had justification for doing a one-tailed test, then we would click this button here. And I wanna show you what changed. So actually, let me do it two-tailed so you can see what it looks like here. And now I'm gonna do it one-tailed. Notice that my calculation doesn't change whether I make it one-tailed or two-tailed, and that makes sense. My degrees of freedom didn't change. The only thing that changed was my p-value, and that's because if I'm making it one-tailed, I'm throwing that 5% all on one side. And so it's not a coincidence that this is um, 0.01, the other, or 0 0.001, and the other score was 0 0.002. They should be roughly half because we've thrown it all on one side. If I were to make it a lower tail test, look what happens to that p-value. So that's a 0.999. And that's because when we were doing an upper tail test, we threw the 5% up in the upper tail and we found it was up there. But if we were doing a lower tail test and the score is 4.733, do you see how it's not in the rejection region because it's all on the lower side and 4.733 is not there. So this is telling us if we were to do a lower tail test, we'd have to fail to reject the null. So when you're running your JASP report, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you change um, this to two-tailed or one-tailed accordingly so that your p-value is updated and you can use that um, uh, to judge your results. And I do want to point out that this is going to be very helpful moving forward um, with future statistics. So you want to get used to using those p-values uh, rather than always finding your rejection region.